Welcome back to my floating space to craft with very funky uh, camera angles. Um, this is just going to be a, a strange period for my, not that my setup is perfect in my studio, but um, here on my long cruise, it's, uh, I'm having to get real creative. So, I have pulled these papers from a an Echo Park, uh, I think it's called Summer Dreams Paper Kit, and I love this, it's sort of a fishtail scale um, paper for the, the base page, and then I have these other fun papers, one with flamingos and one with a bunch of wordy bits that I think I'm going to use as a border on the side of the page and then I had pulled a bunch of stickers from the sticker sheet of the kit and a couple of cutouts and I've selected this one that says summer dreams are made of this and then I'm also I, I didn't pull um, cardstock for matting the photos so I'm going to use this same wordy paper um, to get a little bit of a rainbow um, gradient uh, mat for the papers also. I did look at potentially using the flamingos, but you can't see the flamingos when you do a thin thing. So I'm cutting this at just over three inches. I may not cut it yet. I may come back to it. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to do um, some torn strips at the side. So I cut this one just at two inches, so I have room to tear. And then I'm going to cut this one just over three inches. You can see I just nudged it over. And then I'm just going to tear both of them simultaneously, which is not that easy to do with this really nice thick cardstock, but I make it happen. And that just ensures that um, if you're doing it, I didn't do this at a big angle or anything, but if you do, then you can sort of match those angles. Though it might have looked nice at an angle, but I just do it pretty much straight up and down. And I'm happy with that for my base. And now I'm going to mat these. Actually, I decide um, I'm going to mat them with some white paper. I have some white cardstock, so I'm going to do that first. And that's just to get a little contrast between the photo and that paper. And then in order to account for getting contrast between the border and the mats, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to switch the photos up. For some reason my paper trimmer didn't cut straight there, so I was just taking a look at that. And um, so I'm going to do two things. I'm going to um, put the colors opposite. So this one with the green I'm going to put at the bottom of the page and the one with the pinks are going to go at the top of the page and that will provide a little contrast and I ink them with a walnut stain uh, distress oxide. I do pull out green and think maybe I'll use this I think it's crushed pistachio and it's a good color for it, um, but then I decide that's not going to be enough contrast and it might look weird on the pinks versus on the blues and greens. So I try a couple of different colors. I only brought all my minis with me and then a, and then a couple of neutral larger ones. So I'm going to go ahead and use the walnut stain. I even pull out my daubers to do the green. So this is things that I packed to try and um, be as efficient as possible. So 
I'm not loving that. It's not enough contrast. So I just go over it with this brown. And that is enough. And then I will do um, the, the same to all of the embellishments. And that just helps it stand out a little bit. So I love this sentiment and I love the stripes on it, but I am going to cut it down a bit because it's a full four by six, which is kind of large. And then I'm going to take at least one of those and make a little banner down in the bottom. And then this says summer and I'm going to figure out a way to use that. You'll see what I do. I do love um, those hanging lanterns. And of course I have flamingos on that paper so I'm going to pull in a little flamingo embellishment. And then I had pulled three different florals and I fuss around with those quite a bit trying to figure out which one I want to wear. I do figure it out eventually. Just checking to see if I like that and I thought that was too busy with the stripes on the other stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and commit this. Border down so I can start placing things. And then I realized that I can just place this summer with the word summer on the card and that way I'm not replicating the word too much. And that helps tie that um, cut apart to the photos as well. So here I'm just trimming one of the florals. It had a really big leaf on it and I thought it was just too big so I cut some off. And I like that. That's giving me a nice diagonal of embellishment areas. And I do end up with a few more um, banners down there in the corner as well. And before I start embellishing further, get my photos stuck down and committed. And then I decide I'll add another flamingo. Some of that little flamingo paper and add a little wide banner of that. And then I have this strip of tickets that I brought along and I didn't know whether I might use it as um, a border or if I would cut it apart. And here I've decided to cut it apart. So I'm just picking the ones that I like um, the look of, I didn't put the ones that said two on there since there were more than two people in each of the photos, um, but I did pick some of the more generic sentiments. Some say fun, some say I think summer, and I end up with five of those little tickets to put around the page.
they're such fun easy embellishments and they were pretty easy to trim out and they just added a nice layering element in addition to those florals and I do pop some of them up using the one millimeter dimensional adhesive and I'm just placing them um, where I think the colors work or I need that color in that embellishment cluster And then I had a sticker uh, banner already selected, so I figured let's add that as a third banner to my little banner collection here. And I'll pop one of them up. So not adding a ton of dimension to this page, just a few little um, things popped up and it's very minimal, it's just one millimeter. So I had a variety of stickers pulled for this um, from different kits. Uh, some were from Simple Stories Retro Summer, some were from the Summer Dreams, collection and I use almost all of them not quite a hundred percent this is a little tiki torch that I think was from the retro summer and they're different um, papers so some are flatter paper and thinner and then the echo park ones are a little bit glossier a little bit thicker that little little banner said delicious. I thought I might be able to use it, but I really, it, it didn't fit in and I didn't want to create another embellishment area. I was really trying to stick to these three little areas. So just adding the smaller elements. So almost finished here. Now one thing I didn't have with me um, is uh, enamel dots, but when I got back to my room I had some leftover enamel dots from a previous page, so I did add some enamel dots to this, but you'll have to wait until the end of the month um, review of all of my projects. Um, before you can see that with the enamel dots, but that's the one thing that's missing here. I had pulled these letters, Alpha's thinking if I wanted a subtitle or something, but I don't think it's necessary. And I don't really need a lot of journaling because it's just us at dinner, it's pretty obvious. So here's some close-ups of the little embellishment areas. And thank you. Thanks for watching you guys. Come back for more of my floating space to craft.